Hey everyone, as the title of this video says, today we're going to be looking at Chaos Chow, how to get them, and basically all the information you need to know regarding these awesome Chow. So let's get right into it. Chaos Chow are extremely unique compared to every other kind of Chow. They are immortal. They will never die or never reincarnate. Once your Chow becomes a Chaos Chow, it is not going to be looking any different ever. Chaos Chow don't have animal parts on them. If you give them a bunny or a dragon or whatever, the animal part will not show up unless you use mods and like turn that on. Uh, they all have the same kind of blank expression. They don't carry over their uh, irregular eyes or mouth at all, so pretty unique there. And they also cannot breed. So they're the only child type besides, you know, babies that can't breed. So very unique, very cool looking. There's a light one, an angel one, and a devil chow. And uh, they're pretty unique. So let's get into how you can make your chow into one of these chow. Before you can make your chow into a chaos chow, your chow must have reincarnated at least twice. To check how many times your chow is reincarnated, you can go to the chow doctor and look under the times transform. Once you see that numbers at two, then your chow is able to become a chaos chow. When your chow evolves into a chaos chow, it needs to be really happy or else it will not evolve into a chaos chow. Your happiness in Sonic Adventure 2 needs to be over 80. You normally can't really see these values unless you have a chow editor. But uh, the happiness to me is really high. If your chow is not extremely happy, then it will not become a chaos chow, it will just evolve into a normal chow. You also must give your chow one of at least every animal in the entire game. So you can give it more than one. A lot of people used to think you, know, you like, it could only be one. If you give it two, it would not work. No, that, you can give it multiple. Just try and like limit it, because you basically need your chow to evolve into a normal type. If your chow is leaning towards swimming or flying or power running, they won't become a Chaos Chow, it needs to be a normal Chow. So, uh, and if you want to make it into a hero or a dark uh, Chaos Chow, you need to also, you know, make sure to pet it with the correct characters and uh, get it towards the correct alignment that you're looking for. So yeah, your Chow needs to recurring twice, have an extremely high happiness, have at least one of every single animal during that life prior to evolving, and then it must evolve into a normal Chow, not run, swim, or fly, or power. So that's about it. It's honestly not that hard. The longest part of it is just getting your child to reincarnate twice. But uh, the animals, if you know the correct locations of them, aren't too bad. And uh, yeah, here we're going to quickly go over all the animal locations for you, because I'm sure not all of you actually know where they are in the game. So starting off with a sea otter, you can find it on prison lane, right near the start of the stage. This is like five seconds in. Shouldn't be too hard for you to find there. Next up, penguin, metal harbor. is kind of found near the middle of the stage on this like uh, aircraft carrier here, find on the left side, right there. Next up, the seal, shows up later in Metal Harbor, will be on the right side of this path coming up ahead, just towards the end of the stage, not uh, too far from the rocket ship. Next, the condor, you can find it in Wild Canyon. Condor is pretty common, you can also find it in Skyrail too, but there's a whole bunch here in Wild Canyon. Next up is the parrot, you can find it in Egg Quarters here in the enemies kind of randomly. It's also in a few other stages, but it's one of the easier parts to get it. Wild Canyon again with the Peacock. Really easy to find these ones also. Chow boxes will give you a whole bunch of them. And the Cheetah also on Wild Canyon right near the start of the stage. Pretty easy to find there. And the Boar, right at the start of Radical Highways, is on the first uh, little like, decline. Very easy to find. Iron Gate, now we got the Rabbit. <laughs> also very easy right at the start of Iron Gate. Uh, here I'm trying to show most of the easiest locations for these animals. There are other locations, but most of uh, most of these are the easiest way to get them. So there's the bear, right start sky rail, now we got uh, gorilla here. We also get the skunk here uh, right away. Headquarters and uh, also, what's it called? Uh, Tales of Stage, Pier or, uh, not Pyramid Cave, uh, Hidden Base I think it's called. Uh, no, that's not the... Sand Ocean. No, no, I think it's called Hidden Base. That stage also has a whole bunch of enemies in the bad next. I don't know why I'm getting stage names mixed up. But uh, there's the raccoon. We just saw a tiger in Skyrail a second ago. But any of the stages that actually have bad nicks, you usually have a pretty wide variety of, en er, of animals that you can get pretty easily just from the enemies. Saw so, uh, the sheep there. Now onto the mythical and kind of harder ones uh, to get. We got the dragon. You can see uh, this is in uh, Eggman stage, Iron Gate. Pretty... This is one of the harder ones to get, I guess, actually. But uh, not too difficult to find. If you follow this video, you can also get it in Wild Canyon from uh, the third chow box. This is another uh, easier way if you have a trouble with that platforming. Here we got the Phoenix. 
meteor herd. Kind of in the middle area of the stage along the bottom of one of these platforms. Shouldn't be too tricky for you to find. Just look for the double storage container there. And there you go. Next up, the Unicorn. You can get it on Prison Lane. You can also get it at the end of City Escape in the third chow box, in case uh, you're not able to do it this way. But uh, you fly up over there, hit that rocket, and this is kind of near the end of the stage. It's not too far from it, but uh, yeah, so there's the Unicorn just in that little cage. Not uh, too tricky there. And the Bat, another easy one, Sand Ocean, just turn around right off the start. Right there. And uh, next up we got the Half Fish, you can find in Green Forest, you can find it in a few other stages. It's also in the third chow box on Pumpkin Hill, that's kind of near the middle state of the stage there in Green Forest. And lastly, the Skeleton Dog, which you can find pretty easily on Pumpkin Hill. It's probably the best location for uh, the Skeleton Dog, I think. Oh, sorry Knuckles. <laughs> but so after you've given your chow all of those animals, and uh, gotten them super happy, gotten them reincarnated twice, you're ready to have them evolve. And the, to speed up their evolution, you can give them a bunch of fruit. That speeds it up a lot. Uh, you can also give mushrooms if you have Chow World Extended. I'm not sure if in vanilla, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, if the uh, mushroom actually increases aging. But uh, the evolution, you'll hear a noise. So you hear the initial kind of evolution sound you get for like a darker hero Chow. And you hear another noise. But there you go, you have a Chaos Chow. And this is a dark Chaos Chow here. It's a little bit hard to tell just because W13 has the uh, skeleton uh, hat on. But we'll take that off here in a second to get a little bit of a better look. There you go, that's a two-tone black Chaos Chow. Looking really cool there. So that's Thanatos' uh, Chow from the exclusive uh, Chow Garden series available to members only. So that's where this Chow came from, if anyone curious. But uh, very cool, and uh, it's the exact same for getting a hero or a neutral Chaos Chow. You just have to, you know, make them either a hero or a neutral Chow. In this case, we made it a dark one, so we just made sure to pet uh, the Chow quite a lot with Shadow. Not too hard there at all. So there you go, hopefully this guide helped you uh, get your Chaos Chow. Hopefully most of you were able to figure it out from uh, this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But uh, for the most part, I think this video should cover everything. But yeah, just make sure you get those animals, keep that happiness up, two reincarnations, and make sure it's a normal type, okay? Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you get your chaos chow that you've been uh, hoping for. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and please consider subscribing if you're interested in more chow garden content. I have a whole bunch of chow videos on my channel to check out if you're interested. And uh, also consider becoming a channel member. It helps support the channel and you get access to the exclusive chow garden series and a whole bunch of other cool perks. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great one. See you guys.